If fight scenes are your jam, then you've probably seen this one from Jet Li's Unleashed, or Danny the Dog, as it was known in the UK. How is a fight scene in such a compact area like a bathroom stall so clear and easy to follow? Usually in this situation, a director will use a wide-angle lens to take in more information so that it's easier for us to see the fight scene. But this one doesn't. How on earth is it so clear? Yes, you're right, there's no shaky cam, and that does help a lot. Mostly, it's the choreography that makes it this clear. Let's find out how right now. The first trick is repetition. Yeah, before they get into the stall, there's some repetition in the fight scene, like with these roundhouse kicks. But once they get into the stall, the repetition goes to a new level. We're going to treat the section in the stall like it's its own fight scene. So we're starting off with what's essentially going to be the foundation this fight scene is built on. This simple hook punch and block that we've all seen in countless movies. It's easy to follow because it doesn't matter who's punching and who's blocking, they're essentially both doing the exact same movement. They start off with three of that move, then they cut back to the fight and it starts with a move we haven't seen before, a liver punch. So if repetition is one of the things they're doing with the choreography, isolation is one of the things they're doing with the camera to make it easy to follow. Anytime there's a move we haven't seen yet, they start by zooming in and isolating it. In this case, it's a hook punch to the liver, they start zoomed in with it isolated, there is nothing else on camera so it's easy to to see it land and it's easy to see what it is. There are zero distractions. Then it zooms out and what do we get? We get that standard hook punch and block, the foundation of the fight scene. Then a move we haven't seen before in the stall, a right cross. Yeah, it's not a big fancy move, but we haven't seen it before. So what happens? We zoom in on it and isolate it so that it's the only thing on camera. From there, it cuts to Jet Li landing more hooks to the body, but we've seen those before, so we don't need to be isolated. Jet Li lands that punch, so what lands next? Well, it repeats. One, two, and then a choke. Now we're gonna go into a pattern that comes up again and again in this fight scene. One, two, elbow. And right after that, one, two, elbow. So we get Jet Li's punches, then the choke. One, two, elbow. One, two, elbow. Now we've got a new move coming up that we haven't seen before. So what do you think we're gonna do? We're going to zoom in on it and isolate. So we see the fingers to the armpit and it is the only thing on screen. It is easy for us to understand what this new move is that we haven't seen. Since we zoomed in on it, the next shot from a different angle, we're going to start zoomed in on it and zoom out. So it's isolated at the beginning of the next shot. So we isolate it at the end of the shot where it first happens and then start the next shot with it also isolated. Now we zoom out and Jet Li lands an elbow. So what's he gonna do? He's going to keep doing that move. He's going to repeat it until it's either blocked or countered. Elbow, elbow, block. Now his opponent's going to land a move. What's he gonna do after that? He's going to repeat that move until it is blocked or countered. Jet Li countered with something we haven't seen before. It is a bite to the chest, but since it's something we haven't seen before, what do we do? We zoom in and isolate it. We zoom out so that we can see the expression of pain, but we're going to go to another camera angle. So what are we gonna do since there's a move happening that we haven't seen before still? We're going to start zoomed in and zoom out. And then we go back to the foundation of the choreography. And the actors don't throw any strikes until the camera zooms back out to the normal distance we're used to in this fight scene. We're gonna skip through a section here for copyright reasons, but I'll put that at the end. After that, Jet Li lands this hook punch, and what does he do? He repeats it until it gets blocked or countered. What's the block, by the way? The foundation of the fight scene. Now, a new move we haven't seen before. Instead of zooming in this time, we're taking the clearest camera angle possible. Jet Li's head's gonna be smashed into the wall, and instead of it being smashed into the wall twice, they're still going to repeat the move. It's just gonna be against the other person. It's still a form of repetition, which makes it very easy for us to follow. Now the opponent's gonna land this little kick to the body, and instead of making it extra clear using camera work, they're just gonna use the choreography to make it extra clear and have it repeat. Then go back to the foundation of the fight. Hook punch blocked, hook punch blocked, oh, and an elbow. So that was going back to the foundation and then the normal sequence that we get again and again of one, two, elbow. Look at how similar these are, even though the punches are slightly different and sometimes the person doing the punches then does the elbow, sometimes the person defending is the one who comes back with the elbow. But either way, it goes one, two, elbow. Having a pattern repeat like this makes it easier to follow the action in such a tight space. Now this guy's gonna land a hook punch to the liver, which we've seen before so we don't Need to zoom in and isolate, but he's gonna land it, so he's going to do the exact same move until it's either blocked or countered. Jet Li counters it with a hook punch to the head. Relying on repetition for clarity doesn't mean that everything has to be done with the exact same side. You can go right side, left side like this, and as far as the audience is concerned, it is just as clear and easy to follow. The guy landed the headbutt, so what's he gonna do? He is going to do another headbutt, because that is the pattern. He misses, so he tries a new move, this two-handed choke. We haven't actually seen 
a two-handed choke, although we have seen three chokes now. So we don't need to isolate it necessarily, but they do regardless. They zoom in and isolate it. Now we're going to see a kick that is not going to repeat and that we have not seen before. So they're going to use one more trick that they haven't done yet to improve the clarity of the move. Of course, the one thing they haven't done yet is slow motion. The kick is only slightly slowed down at first, but once it lands, it is very slow. From there, they're out of the stall and onto the rest of the fight. The last piece of the puzzle that makes this fight scene so easy to follow despite it being in such an enclosed area is the rhythm. So I'm gonna put an uncut version of this part of the fight right here. Click on it and see just how steady and consistent the rhythm is. It's almost like a metronome, like those old 1980s and 70s fight scenes. If fight scenes are your jam and you are a human who consumes liquids on a regular basis, consider perhaps getting this vessel which will simultaneously hold your liquids and proclaim to all those around you that fight scenes are indeed your jam. Please note, Vessel is not made of actual jam.